Hey, what's up, YouTube? Hey, what's up, my Saturday loves? Um, it's your girl, Disney Diva, and you're listening to the sounds of my country voice. Yes, I'm back with another fabulous video, and I hope all my Saturday loves are doing good. So, what we have on the agenda, and before we get into there, I want to introduce what I'm listening to. So, for your listening pleasure, coming for your ear, I have my girl, Leah, rest in peace. This song is called If Your Girl Only Knew. And if you only knew that this was the best channel all around, you would be liking, subscribing, hitting that notification bell. So, what we have on the agenda today, I'm going to be showing off my pen vest. Now, it may be a struggle when I try to flip this over because I have one hand, so just bear with me. And then it dawned on me that I never showed you guys my precious moments of uh, princess in the frogs um inspired dolls so we're gonna get into that but um before we do um i just want to check in with my mental health one of the youtubers i slum in me um watch he does that and i like that so i just want to say that um you know, something tragic happened where I live at. You know, everyone here is okay. I'm going through my own little personal thing. But God is good and I'm okay. But something tragic took place and I'm kind of sad about that. I don't like change. But hopefully, um, whatever comes about it is going to be a good thing. But I'm very sad about what took place, what went down. It's very tragic, very sad. And it just really make you know that, you know, time is of the essence and life is very short. But one thing we got to know that we have to get our life together with Christ. And I recommend all you out there, if you don't know the Lord, it's a, it's a good time now. He's no respect to any person. And I say get a relationship with him. I mean, that's all. I mean, um, I'm a believer and straight up. And I know I'm not perfect. With, I'm not a perfect Christian or whatnot. But I know that the Lord said if you if if you deny him in front of your friends, he's going to deny you. So y'all know that I'm a believer and I'm a Christian. So another aspect I think I wanted to say before I get into all my Disney stuff. I think that's it. It was something else. Oh, yeah. Y'all just keep me in prayer about my MRI bill because it's very high. I mean, it's not as high, but let's just say it's high. So my first payment is this Friday. Um, far as medical thing, a certain medicine is still making me sick, but I'm trying to get it together. I'm trying to figure out the best way to take my medicine. Y'all just pray because I have so many appointments between now and December, and just um, most of the money is going towards bills and definitely medical bills. So that's all I wanted to say. I think that's all. Y'all know me, the queen of antidotes. I'm a queen of a lot of things, but like I said, it's the honest channel. I keep it real and I keep it professional. So I just want to say welcome again on my Saturday loves. I want to welcome in all my new Saturdays because I know I have a few. So y'all, oh, also, y'all already know it might be some ads. So let's just pretend like it's the heyday of radio where they had, um, Radio advertisement, so <laughs> although it's on Spotify, so let's get started with this. So, I'm doing this video for a particular person who is a avid pen collector like myself. Now, I don't know how major his collection is, but if he is watching, I wanted to just um show him and I want to update everybody on my pens. Pretty much these pens, and like I said, if you see anything in my room that you ain't supposed to see, just pretend like you didn't see it. So Pretty much none of these pins have not changed. It's a lot of wear and tear on this vest. Now, half of this vest is like my, um, it, half of this vest is like my Tiana side of the vest. The main pins that I collect is Tiana, of course. I love, this is the old-fashioned winning a play. I never get a girl in my high school, um, I think it was for, um, I think my birthday. I'm not too sure what it was, but I thought it was so sweet. She gave me this card and it was two pins on it. This is way before I was an avid pin, um, an avid pin collector. And I just thought that was sweet and it was on the card. I think I still got the card, but I added these pins to my thing. Um, this was the, um, Tiana pin from um what do you call it uh from that from that record ralph movie i'm not gonna go over every single detail with these pins i know i click mansion pin this is one of those um what do you call it this is one of those um i think this thing is the banister to the little ropes that are in the hallway so like i said this side is like 
Oh, oh, definitely Captain EO. They need to bring back that back. They need to bring that ride back to Disneyland. Rest in peace, Michael. So this side of the vest is mainly like, like I said, all my pins. Some of the pins like this one that it opens. I don't even know. I don't even know what's inside here because um, I keep it closed with tape if I can. As I told you guys, half and most of these pins, either that someone gave me like this one with um, Anna or most of these pins and half of these pins came from eBay. Um, either they were, they were behind glass or someone gave them to me. Or I went to a function like when I did the um, Halloween tour twice. And I met my Disney sister. She knows exactly who she is. This one came from eBay. You know, um, the dancing Tiana came from eBay. Tiana dressed like Dr. Lafayette came from eBay. The perfume bottle, um, Tiana. Oh, I can't think of his name. Humphrey. Oh my God, that bear is so freaking crazy. And then the memes, um, the muses. Um, I love them. Of course, you already know because they're black too. Um, I wish they do a movie based on them. And I have a muses um shirt. I know I'm saying it wrong. I know this pin right here came from um Tokyo Disneyland. Someone gave that to me. And then a lot of pins are like based on the rides. Like this is the old fashioned Tomorrowland with Mickey. Small World. I mean, a lot of these pins are wear and tear. The Christmas, um, the um holiday, um, what do you call it? Um, Lord, I can't think of it. Uh, Small World Holiday. Oh, this is a nightmare for because I said I collect nightmare for a Christmas pin. This was a specialty pin. Um, behind glass where they let the bunny out the bag. <laughs> he looked happy as hell to get out that bag. So like I said, this is just, oh, this pen came from Paris. My friend's watching this. She gave me that from Paris. Um, this was the um, Sensational Parade or something like that with Tiana and they had in their little boat. Oh, and this one's very special. Mother's Day pen, you know, me and my mother represent and another pen represent my mother. So like I said, half of this this. And forgive me, Lord. I, I mean, forgive me, Lord. I'm always praying. So that's why I said, forgive me, Lord. And forgive me, guys, if I'm all over the place. Um, oh, this is um something from Tokyo. I think this is one of the pain in one of the restaurants. And then Charlotte and little Tiana. You know, I wish they had a um live Ash and Charlotte and her and Tiana's walking around the park. That would be so cool to meet her. But like I said, half of this vest is all of Tiana mixed in with other things. Like I said, I love Pooh Bear. He was my first love. The first thing my mom ever started to buy me. And then when I got a little bit older, it was all about Lucy. And then, like, the most recent thing she ever brought me was Tiana. And this is the hipster Tiana that came from eBay. So, like I said, all this side is just mostly Tiana mixed in. So, now this side of the vest... Um, How do I explain this side? Okay, first of all, I... Door, Jessica Rabbit. That is definitely my spirit animal besides um, Rihanna. And then I like to say Aaliyah is my spirit animal for like that swag, that hip hop swag when I be at Disneyland. And y'all already know, like I said, Jessica Rabbit and, and Rihanna are my sexy side. Y'all should have saw me swing my little shoulders when I said that. And then I want to say Tupac is definitely that side of me that needs a little bit harder and thicker without sweating things and being upset and then i want to also say mariah carey she's my girly girl um spirit and i'm because i be feeling so girly girl when i'm especially on my birthday but y'all like what does this have to do with pins <laughs> nothing but anyway so like i said this is my jessica rabbit side um this pin came from when i did a tour this another pin came when i did a tour this was the christmas time pin tour and this is a walk and waltz footstep and that's such a ton tight like I said, I have, um, you know, love them or hate them, wherever they thought about uh, Mr. Disney. But half of this pen collection is about, um, you know, Walt Disney. I love mansions. So, um, this is some mansion pens. Like I said, a lot of these things came from eBay. And then um, when I did the Halloween tour and stuff and Jessica Rabbit, um, like I said, um, I recently took a picture of this sign where it says... Now, hopefully my dyslexia don't kick in. I'm going to try to separate this. Here you leave today and enter the world of yesterday, tomorrow, and fantasy. Now, I don't know if they say that at both entrance. Um, could I go on the entrance that is towards, what do you call it? Towards the, um, 
I think that's the right side. I'm just now coming back from a long walk. So when I leaned over in my, um, <laughs> my side started to kick in. And this is, you guys remember this pen, Johnny Fedora and Alice Bubani. That was like one of my favorite cartoons from the Silly Symphony or something with music. I don't know. This is from one of the rides. I think they still got this at California Adventure. The Silly Symphony Swings. And um, I think that was the partner statue. I don't know. Uh, like I said, all these pins or half of these pins came from behind glass or someone gave them to me. Or ride pins. Madame Lilo, who I just love. Oh, another um, Holiday Mansion collectible pin. You know, I had to get that. And this one swings back. A lot of the pins do different things, but it's a lot of wear and tear. A lot of wear and tear. This thing is so old and heavy. California Screaming, which I don't have that anymore. Iago, rest in peace. To, um, I'm not going to try to say that guy's name. And then, um, I, I know this is behind glass, but, you know, uh, Sleeping Beauty. Not Sleeping Beauty, my bad. Uh, Snow White and Her Prince. You know, so, um, you know, Mickey and I never get a friend of mine brought me these for my birthday one year. But I know all the half of the stuff was way before the pandemic. And so what else? Oh, this is one of my favorite pins. I love this brooch thing. When I saw this behind glass, like I had to get this. This was like the Madame Leola pin, but this is the thing. It's on like a um, tombstone and her eyes blink and she interacts with people by like smiling or blinking or closing her eyes or whatnot. Um, you know, Pepper Ghost Illusion. So this is the Madame Lillian pen in my back. It's hurting when I'm leaning over. <laughs> Y'all like, okay, child. Um, what else? Oh, okay. I wish Disneyland bring this back. This is the Heroes and villain pen, Villains pen. This is when they had a 24 hour and it's like you could dress as a hero and you dress as the villain and that was so freaking cool i wish they bring back the 24 hour days and h and it was mad crazy mad pack but it was so fun and this is for the anniversary pin that they had uh the 60th i never forget that that was so fun and that was a 24 hour event and i have shirts to both of these you know being up all night makes me a little dopey and i was dopey at the end of the night <laughs> And um, Jessica Rabbit at St. Patrick's Day, you know. Um, so, like I said, just so you guys can get a little bit. Like I said, I'm doing this for a friend of mine, you know, so he can see this. And I wanted to share with you guys. This vest is super duper heavy, you know. And, of course, the diva, Disney diva. Um, so, now I'm going to try to flip it over. Or So, let's see how can I do this. So, y'all don't be, y'all don't laugh. Or maybe I can do it. Okay, I will put the phone down, but then that's going to be doing too much. Now, um, I don't know how much this thing weighs, but <laughs> let's just say it weighs a ton. Um, I was, like I said, if you saw anything over there when I'm trying to lift this up, just pretend like you didn't see it. Okay, I was going to wear this vest, like I said, to my birthday, but it kept tipping my suitcase over. This year's birthday, if I could make everything happen, you know, as far as with billing and whatnot and just having the money for all this stuff that i need um i'm definitely gonna take it i know that this vest will be worn probably one day in, in the park not all day and i definitely will be going back to the hotel room carrying it in bags so i have to use about like um two bags to carry and then when i'm in and then when it's hanging up in my closet it's hung up on three hangers so, like I said, this is just the back side of it. I love, um, what is his name? Um, I know his name is Smee or something like that. He is so freaking funny. Of course, an M for my name. A more rides. This side is just like whatever. Um, it consists of rides, um, holiday pins. Like I said, all these pins are behind glass or someone gave it to me. This is really cool right here. Way back in the day before I was any born, this was the e-ticket book. I do have some e-ticket. I do have some e-ticket um, book list, but it doesn't have the e-ticket in it. I never get a tenant of mine. Uh, when I used to do security, he gave it to me. I love this little lady right here, Marie. And my great aunt lover, too. Uh, she was the love the rest of cat. Rest in peace. Because I'm a lady. Why do you get to go first? Because I'm a lady. I love her because she's a great girl like me. And I love Bianca and Bernard. They're one of my favorites. The rest of the girls. The first one. Um, this is the statue in uh, California Adventure. I love Stitch and his little Hawaiian thing. I think I have his um, 
yeah, uh, what is her name? Leo. Yeah, Leo and Stitch. I love her. Um, I like this, the Three Amigos. Um, this is the old flea, um, market in, uh, California, Virginia. They used to have bugs like, that's the only bugs like I want to see. And in fact, let's just say I saw one of their friends in the train station. I hate stuff like that. <laughs> and this is the Dumbo pen with Mickey. Oh, this is something right here that's my favorite thing. Okay, so this is a parody or like a pun pen of Hunted Mansion where that guy is standing on that dynamite. All my um Hunted Mansion fans, y'all know about this, about that little picture, that stretch in the stretching room. But instead of that, they have the Queen of Hearts and they have the Chejari Cat. I always say his name wrong, probably. I love this old Splash Mountain pen where Mickey is ringing out, I think, his gloves or something. He's, he got soaking wet. And as I said, I'm petrified of that ride. And I know Tiana ride is coming. Like I said, I love my girl. I'm going to do it afraid. And I'll probably only do it one or two times. But after that, shoot, I'm going to be hanging out in that gift store. And y'all already know what I feel about that gift store. Like I said, Disney, you better get it together because that store ain't the business. Um, Let's move on here. I love this pen right here with Stitch. Uh, throwing a snowball at the bottom of the snowman. I know he has a name. I just don't know his name. Um, just, um, okay, this little beer can right here is from um, Ballast Plant. I think they still got that in downtown Disney. Um, but that, they also, I think they I think they extend that store or split it. And that was just a pen that they, they gave me. And, you know, of course, it was on one of my birthdays. Oh, excuse me. Of course, it was on one of my birthday excursions. Oh, Elliot, um, the dragon. I'm very busy. A peek the dragon or something like that. I think he's so cute. Um, oh, okay. Uh, Star, um, uh, what is the name? Star Lord. Um, I, I, yeah. I love Chris Pack with his cute self. So, let me see. I mean, y'all get the point. Mostly ride pins. My favorite color is pink, of course. I love Alice. It's down here. I think this is a Beanie and Beast book. That doorknob, I like when he said, oh, I think I have to tell you, I'm locked. After she got all small. <laughs> and, um, look at the girl, Alice. Oh, this is, um, I don't know what this say is, but, um, you guys can read it. I'm going to put it on there so you can see that. Um, so you see all, like, the cool little pins and stuff. I mean, I'm just a sucker for old things. This is Alice dress. Let's so y'all know I'm a, a sucker for Alice and we're not. So, like I said, wear and tear, but this is a cool thing, right? The Mad Tea Party. I wish they bring that back. It was like a nightclub outside, like a rave outside. It was so cool. It was Tim Burton, Alice in Wonderland thing, thing. It was like the coolest. They had like a band and they were playing like Journey. They were just playing like, you know, all kind of like cool little rock songs. I mean, it was so cool. They had break dancers. They had like a, a guy in this weird um, looking sort of be like a caterpillar soup. I don't even know what, what it was, but he did all these cool things and stuff. It looked like a slinky or a yo-yo or something like that, but it was so cool. Um, like I said, this leaves to have a door on there, but like I said, wear and tear, you know, Curse to Mansion. Um, okay, so this is one of the newest pins that I put up there recently. Of uh, um, sorry if there's a glare, guys. But this is a Mary Poppins Golden Book. I got this on eBay. You know, so that was one of my newest pins that I'll show you guys. I think during um 2020 or 2021. And then we have the one with the rescuers. My favorite um movie, Golden Book. And then, of course, Soul. I love Soul. They need to come out with a Soul Part, part 2. They need to do more for Soul. Because Soul was funny. And, of course, my Alice Golden Book pin. And then all the princesses with my girl Tiana there. Um, so let me see. Oh, okay. This is the pen with the red head. I miss her. We want the red head. How used to say, I hate that new scene. Oh, and this is sweet too. I don't have Mrs. Teapot, but I have, um, where is it? I have Chip, you know, rest in peace, Angela Lansbury. I know she died. She played Mrs. Teapot. And I know she played on some other things. Um, like I said, a lot of these pins open like this, you know, um, Pinocchio's, uh, right. Oh, this is from that movie, um, Good Dinosaur. Um, I just love pins. I went pin crazy. And like I said, one of my good friends, I saw her collection and, um, she used to be an avid Disneyland go goer, but now she's retired from Disneyland. 
you know, uh, she's an older lady and she was just, um, oh, Figaro, as I told you. Oh, the baby from um, Toy Story, Big Baby. Uh, what is his name? I can't think of his name right now, but y'all know who this is. Sleeping Beauty. Oh, well, I, like I said, I got, I got that tape, so that's why that can't open. But it's the Sleeping Beauty book. Oh, uh, Mary Poppins, which I meant. Milan. Oh, uh, this is um the part in the ride where you go through the fireplace and the door open up and it's Donald uh, driving the ride. He looks all crazy. Winnie the Pooh, my favorite people right here. Um, I can't think of his name. I know it's Ellie and Carl. Ellie and Carl. But like I said, one of my friends, she had a pen collection. And I'm pretty sure she has a lot of cool Disneyland stuff. And she was a major uh, Mickey Mouse um, fan. Okay, this pen came from Hong Kong. Disneyland, someone got me that. I forgot who. And um, so my vest was inspired by her. You know, small world pen. I think I got that um, tape down. Let me see. I'm like going to try to see if I can open this, y'all. Because my nails, I got to get my nails done. But like I said, I think it's the, um, I want to say it's the African section of this ride. If I can get it open. Oh, yeah, here we go. See? But um, Hippo, I mean, that's the best section to me. The Hippo with the, um, what do you call them? Um, giraffes. And then they got the kids right there. But anyways, like I said, my friend inspired me with my vest. And so, that's all that all got started. Oh, the old uh, Tower of Terror hotel thing, which I never rode. I think about, like, just one time after that. No way, Jose. <laughs> that ride is scary. So, like I said, they all do something. But it's a lot of wear and tear. I never get a girl was like, oh, I'm so jealous. And I'm all like, please don't be jealous. Th these pins are wear and tear. And I and it's sad because sometimes kids want to trade with me, people want to trade with me, but these are all like my babies. I do not trade these pens. And plus, like I said, it's hard to trade. And if I did want to trade, oh, this is another Walt Disney pen. But if I did want to trade, see these little gold things, they're locked going. And so, yeah, they're locked going like this. And when I was at Disneyland, I tried to buy more of these. I think they're like seven fifty. I think ten or six or seven come in a bag, and then this little Allen wrench comes with it. So it's really hard. And like I said, there's a tiny little screw in there. Uh, tiny, if you see that tiny little screw, if I'm showing, sorry y'all, no, it's out of range. There's a tiny little screw in there, so it's you have to be very careful. And then I don't know where I got these at. But I had a few of these on like some random thing. I said, okay, I'm going to keep this because, you know, you never know. They may, that may come in handy. So that was my pen vest. And just to recap, you know, birthday last year. Now, y'all, I know, like now, with some of the stuff, I got to take off maybe some of like the insignificant pens. I don't mind. And adding on this to the Tiana session. Y'all remember this? Oh, yeah. Remember when I couldn't open that door? So let me see. I'm opening it for you now. And so that's how it looks, y'all. Isn't that beautiful? And they actually have a doll to this. Um, the doll was kind of expensive, but I saw that. Um, I keep thinking my birthday was last year. I saw this at the beginning of the year. But who knows if it's there in March? I may next year March. I may get it. Just depends on time and money. And y'all know, y'all know about this already. Y'all saw that on recently, very recently. So uh, I'm gonna have to make room because I plan on putting this in. Before the end of the year or before March, because I'm gonna try to take this vest to Disneyland, and um, I think that's gonna be the first thing I pack in just double it in a couple of bags and just put it at the bottom. I know it's gonna tip over, but hey, I always overpack anyway. So now I want to show you the last thing something very special. So, this is one of the precious moments dolls, and I'm going to try to hold it up for you. So this was my very first Precious Moments doll, collector's doll, in 2009. And the doll was like maybe like 50 bucks or something. And my mom was still living at the time. i never forget that. And I remember my mom. Now, I don't know if I was staying at the hotel at the time. I think I was. And everything was so cheap then, way before the pandemic. And of course, 2009 when this doll came out. And I was telling my mom about the doll, and I was like, man, I hope I see that doll. My mom was like, calm down, she will be there, she will be there. And it was so funny, like, um, like I said, this was when Tiana was new. And I never get, she was, I saw Tiana, and I ran over there, it was so nice to meet her, you know, so many times. And then I went back to the store, and I saw the doll. 
Now, like I said, my very first doll. So, I mean, for a precious moment. Because, like I said, this, if you see the face, you guys know that this doll is, um, they have, um, the main, the main, um, precious moment doll from what I saw. And I remember in the magazines have always been Caucasian and then I have seen black. But, um, see, uh, the dolls are wearing, like, the, the dress, the, the dresses. And I actually met the lady who... It's the owner or the designer of Precious Moment. Now, one of these dolls, she signed maybe like two of their shoes. And um, it's probably going to be hard for me to show you that, but I'm going to try. So, this was my first doll. Now, I'm going to move on to some of these. Now, I don't know which one I got first. Well, I know I got this one first, like I was saying. But I don't know which one I got second, third, blah, 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 blah. So, I'm just going to go through them one by one. So, I'm going to do the holidays one first. So, then, this was a Halloween doll. And um, and now really, like I said, this doll is fifty bucks. So to, to me, it's like you're just really paying for like the dress. And so um, I guess maybe one um time when like I told you I, I like to go in March and not to go in Halloween time. So I never forget when I got this doll. And this is how I look in the back. It's the same style. It's the same. It's like the same dress, same style. You know. Um. Well, this one is um different. I don't have that big old bow. But I think all the other ones have it. But we'll see. So, yeah. So, this is the Halloween doll. And then my Christmas doll. I remember I was with my sister when I got this one. I think I did meet the designer then on Christmas. So, the Christmas doll. Like I said, it's just pretty much paying 50 bucks for another dress. And she has that big old bow. And, um... And it came like this still up in the bag. It did have a doll stand. And I think the doll stand was like $25 or something like that. But I'm glad it came wrapped. Because like I said, I don't play with these dolls. They're only on display. And they're over there with uh, my American Girl dolls. Now for these remaining dolls, like I said, um, these dolls are set to be based like on Easter, Mother's Day, and typically Easter. Because when I'm on vacation, like all these dolls were purchased in March. Except for the Christmas one being purchased in December and the Halloween doll in October, of course. But all the ones I other showed you, like I said, all in March. So, um, give me one second. I'm trying to see if this is the one that she signed. Remember, I'm working with one hand here, people, and thank you for that. So, I know one of them, she kind of opened it up a little bit to sign my doll's shoes. I don't think it was this one, but... I think this was just the, the, the theme of the day for the spring was pink. And you guys know I adore pink. And oh, this one doesn't have the bow in the back of it. But it's Tiana, so it's cute. And you see the little bow. All of them, you see the little flower. Tiana style. And then, and then like I said, they had like, um, they had the, I remember they had an Ursula doll. They had Maleficent doll. One of them was painted green. One of them was painted purple. They had all the dolls. They had an Alice doll. They had um, mainly like all the princess, but it, they all had the faces of the precious moment. I think this doll was a, a Easter springtime doll. And let me see, was it this one? You know when I think recently I had taped the bottom because I didn't want to be in dusty. So it may be hard for me to show you which one she signed. You know, cause I know it was coming out because you know things get easily dusty here. So, um, yeah, my uh, this is a cute one. I really thought that th that this was cute because the flowers and stuff on there. And yeah, I think this is definitely the um, it got that bow. I think this is definitely a springtime and that beautiful turquoise blue. Thought that was pretty because, like I said, my birthstone is turquoise. Uh, turquoise. Look, I'm saying uh, it looks like I'm saying Toy Story, but turquoise. You know I talk fast. My bad, guys. Thank you for putting up with this. <laughs> oh, I, you know what? I didn't even notice that she had a pink uh, flower in her hair. So the stuff you know, that's funny. And, it, well, of course, because this down here, that's, um, good flower. I would love to have this a dress. I wish I would. I knew how to make dresses because I would make something like this. If I knew how to make my own dresses, yeah, um, I know, um, um, a lot of money would be saved. And then this little, um, and then my last one, this light pink and white, very beautiful. And I guess, I mean, I'm just now noticing all of them don't have that bow. Like I said, they've never been out the bags and stuff. And like I said, they're all based on Tiana. So 
Like I said, yeah, I remember recently when I was um organizing, cleaning up things. Um, I remember I taped the bottom of it. I think this is the one that got she wrote on, and maybe this one. I know she just said happy birthday, Marshan. And I never get one of the dolls. I mean, one birthday was my golden birthday because my birthday was on the 31st. And then, of course, you guys know it was on the 31st, but I was 31 at the time. And I think she said, happy birthday, Marshan, and happy 31 on 31. I don't know. We all, I'm pretty sure we all may already, already uh, may our golden birthdays. And if you don't know what a golden birthday is, it's like whatever day your birthday is on and whatever age you are, it's a golden birthday. Well, my sister taught me that. So I don't know, like, if that's like a thing that people actually know, but it was my golden birthday on the, on the 31st. And this birthday, um, I can't believe y'all I'll be 39. I'm almost 40. So, um, I want to thank you guys for your patience. We're looking at all my dolls and all my pen stuff. And stay tuned to more videos. And I just want to thank you. Like I said, you guys stay safe. You guys stay blessed. And like I said, um, just love everyone. No hate. Respect. 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 Because life is short and time is of the essence. Y'all keep me in prayer. And we definitely going to be doing birthday countdown. I found, oh yeah, I wanted to tell you guys that. I found a place to shorten the dress. So that dress I showed you guys on that merch field with that long dress that had the the green and the blue and that yellow. And like I said, made me look like Big Bird. Um, for my hike, I'm too short, so the dress is actually kind of long, and I don't want to trip, you know. If I was taller, it may, it may look better if I was taller, but y'all know me. I got to add a little bit of, you should see me twitching my hips. You know, I got to add a little bit of sex appeal in my little Rihanna and Jessica Rabbit. So, I found a place that would do it for 36 bucks. And I know I could probably easily do it myself, but, you know, I have a background in fashion, but... I was all thumbs with sewing. I was probably all thumbs with drawing. And maybe I can show you guys this real quick just to recap that. Those three drawings um, right there and those paintings, I did that. And there were my mom paintings. So when she passed away, I got them back. And the one that sort of be inspired by um, the one where I look like I'm um, Mickey Mouse, Jessica Rackett. It said, ha ha, eat your heart out, Roger. A friend of mine made that for me. And it was so funny because he had me looking well. But he had my mouth growing. I said, look at my mouth. I had more bigger lips, more voluptuous lips. So once he changed that, it was perfect. But anyways, y'all. But, you know, I have a background in fashion. I know I could probably cut it off myself, but I don't want to mess it up. That dress, that, that skirt was $78. So, I mean, I'm fine with paying $36. The lady's only there on Tuesdays. And this is at the Macy's um, where I live at in downtown. And the Nordstrom, there's, there's like a Nordstrom tailor for like, I guess, Nordstrom clothes. But it looked like they do other clothes. Because this white dress that I wanted to wear, and I was going to do like a Tiana-inspired dress for this birthday that passed. But the dress just wasn't working out. And I was going to get that shirt in a little bit. But anyways, I'm going to get that yellow part cut off. And I'm going to be showing that off. So, now it's only going to have, I think, just that blue and that green. And technically, Tiana's main dress colors were that green dress. Her, her famous green dress, which is right here. And um, her famous, I guess this is kind of to be signified of her famous blue dress. Now that I think of it. You know, and um, I know sometimes this dress could be made in different ways. Like, I know it has a little bit of yellow down there. But that yellow is like, it's like a big bird color yellow. Um, but anyways, I mean, green and pastel green or dark green or any well yellow. People know that those are Tiana signature colors. So anyways, the dress is going to get altered. Um, but let me get off of this. I know I always end on an end note and still say something. But like I said, y'all stay blessed. Um, it's raining out here. Um, y'all stay blessed. It's raining out here in L.A., downtown L.A. You guys stay blessed. Stay safe. Keep that magic. And stay tuned to the next video. You can't see me do my deuces. So I'm going to do it here. So deuces and keep that magic, y'all. Thank you for your patience. And welcome into all my new people, y'all. Thank you, all my new Saturday loves. And um, I'll see you on the next video. I don't know when I'm getting that dress altered. Like I said, I got some major bills to pay. So once I get all that, then I'm going to get that the skirt altered. I'm going to show you guys that. But anyways, y'all, let me get off of here. Let me get off of here. <laughs> and y'all, I thought you sort of been eating already. But anyways, y'all, y'all know me, Chatty Cassie. I live by myself. Anyways, y'all, take care. Deuces. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.